What I've done so far is got the turning blank in a chuck here on the lathe, and what a beautiful chunk of walnut that is. It's really gonna pop under the finish, and it's gonna look great with that accent stripe in it. Now, you're gonna have to pay attention to the particular mechanism that you get from your supplier. Here's how this bottle opener works. It's got this threaded insert. That's, of course, gonna end up in the handle, and then the bottle opener itself will screw into that. So what'll happen is we're at a point where we can drill for this insert. And again, in this case, the way it works is we're gonna drill a hole and then it's set up for an Allen wrench to go in here and we'll be able to drive the insert in. I have a piece of tape on my drill bit to indicate my final depth of cut. And as far as turning goes, what I've done up to this point is simply rounded this and just got the corners off of it. So we can get this out of the way, get this a little closer to our work. Well, that was boring. Now that's done. So out with that. And now we're just gonna get back to some old fashioned turning. I'm gonna get my insert in place. And to give you the big picture, Here's what's going to happen. I've got a mandrel that'll thread into this. So I'm going to do a little bit of finish turning on this. I want to get my shape a little more refined. Then we're going to turn this around all together. And with this mounted on the headstock end, we'll be able to finish off the handle, sand it, and that's when we'll get the finish on. So I'm not ready to do that yet. I wanna do a little bit more shape refinement, like I said. So I'm gonna let my cone center go right into that insert and take away everything that doesn't look like a bottle opener handle. Now one of the things you want to pay attention to is knowing when to quit because what we'd like to do is have the diameter of that wood equal to or a little bit bigger than the bottle opener. So you can see here, I've still got quite a ways to go. So one of the things I'm going to do is just trace. And that's going to give me an indicator on the end grain of how far I don't want to go. In other words, I don't want to cut beyond that pencil line. I don't want this diameter to get smaller than that part of the bottle opener.
I am just thrilled with the look of this walnut. It's really cool. All right, I'm going to take things apart and flip them around and then we'll come back and wrap up with just a little bit more turning, sanding and finishing. All righty, let me get you up to speed with where I'm at here. I've got the mandrel that I showed you earlier in a drill chuck on the headstock end. So that let me turn everything around. The mandrel goes into the insert, which is inside the handle. I'm still supporting this end so that as I sand, I can be a little bit more aggressive than I would be able to be if this were unsupported. I'm just about to a point where I'm ready to part that off over there. I am gonna take this up one more level of sanding. I'm gonna take it to 280. Then we'll be ready to do one more cut here in the middle I'll show you and some parting on the end. And then we'll be ready for finishing. Now the reason I hold off on that until the sanding is done is because I don't want the sanding to then take away the detail of what I just created. So I will come back now with my 280, clean that up just a little bit more, then I'm going to part down here on the end. To come back to this tool, if you're looking at that and thinking, boy, that looks like an Allen wrench, you're right. It's an Allen wrench I turned into a lathe chisel, works really great for this detail work.
All right, now we're ready for the really cool part, just in case this hasn't been cool enough for you yet. I'm gonna lower the RPMs on the lathe. I want it to run about 600 RPM for the finish. Gonna get a paper towel there on the bed of the lathe to protect the bed. We're gonna do the finishing with cyanoacrylate or CA glue. I'm gonna use a medium viscosity of that. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna get a paper towel on here, run a bead kind of along the edge of the towel and the edge of the turning at that low RPM, apply it like you would a finish, but don't overwork it. We wanna um, just get it on there, let it alone, let it dry, scuff it, do a second coat. If you keep messing with it, um, it could start to dry and grab your paper towel and the paper towel will stick to the turning and you're gonna have to sand all that off. So it's not a friction polish like you might have otherwise used on a lathe. It's a finish that we're just gonna put on and like I said, leave it alone. The real beauty of this is the incredibly durable coating that we get from it. So again, in an application like this where you're gonna probably touch that with a wet hand, it's really gonna hold up. Got some rubber gloves on. RPM is way down there. So paper towel, and then I'm gonna just kinda shoot a bead of that glue along the paper towel. Let that contact the turning. Work it down into my coves alongside the bead there. And that's as much as we're gonna do for now. I let this get dry, and now I'm back to my 280 grit sandpaper. And I just wanna give that a little bit of a scuff, smooth out any imperfections, like my imperfections. And then we'll get one more coat on there, and that'll be done. Let's just stop so you can have a look at what she looks like right now. So I've got sanding scratches, but good build up of finish on there. All right, it's looking good. So I'm gonna lower my RPM again. Same protocol, paper towel, glue, one more coat. We'll let this dry. I need a fresh paper towel. So what the reason I switched there is that paper towel was kind of sticky, not sticky, but hard from my previous application. And we want this nice and soft and pliable, otherwise it's gonna leave marks in the finish. So frequent change on that paper towel. So we'll get some finish on here, like I was saying. Let this coat dry, and then come back one more time and have a look at our finished bottle opener. Well, that takes care of our process of turning a beautiful handle for our bottle opener and thanks to the waterproof glue that we put the layers together with and then this beautiful layer of CA glue that we sealed the outside with. Even if your hands are a little bit damp, that product is going to hold up really, really well. I love how that walnut looks and I love the accent stripe that's in there with the walnut. So now after that dusty work on the lathe, if only I had something here I could open with my bottle opener. That takes care of this project. See you next time.